Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here. Back again with the Emerson CRT TV. But, of course, in this video we have other things planned. This is going to be my full review of the iView STB3500 II converter box. Of course, we'll jump right into it, the back of it. Um, this camera's not going to pick that up very well. But, on the back we have the short power cord. The power cord is very short on this box. Let's see, I'll tell you what would probably help. There we go. You see all the composite. Thank you. All of the inputs it has here for connecting. This will be the ones that you're more than likely only going to need. Video and then stereo audio out. It has HDMI out. We have a HD TV. It has coaxial out. It has a switch on the back which our other converter box doesn't have for for um, output to channel 3 or 4 if you're using the the uh, coax out and in inputs so that's the back of it the front doesn't have a whole lot to see it has a power light for when it has power when it's plugged in it has of course the USB input which is probably the coolest feature of this box and we'll get to that later it has a signal light which would be right there for when we have a signal from a, the antenna we have a power button the channel up and down buttons it has a little display there which I'll go ahead and turn it on it takes a while to come on you'll see that come light up And right about there, it would be turned on. Now, right when that light came on, that's when it would be displaying on the TV. So, I'll zoom back in here. And, I'll turn the TV on. We have no signal on watch whatever channel we're on right now. Channel 3, we should be able to get just fine. You can see it picks up channels just fine. We have a big uh, menu system to go through. So I can turn that down so it won't be distracting. Go into the menu and I'll just demonstrate all that. Program it, it will show you a list of stations that you're picking up. The EPG is the same as the EPG button on the remote. It shows you 12 hours, a 12 hour guide of what's to come on the station that you're watching. And then sort, I'm not real sure what that is. I guess that sorts it by different, different uh, channel, whatever to do with the channel. So you have to press exit to get out of the part of the menu you're in to go to the next one up at the top picture you can change the aspect ratio and have it set up for a 4 to 3 ratio of screen of course resolution doesn't really matter with the CRT TV anything looks fine TV format in TSC or PAL for anyone overseas um, in my opinion, PAL doesn't look too great on uh, in the United States, so it's just my opinion. Transparency, you can set the menu to be transparent. I just kind of leave that off because sometimes the text gets hard to read. Channel search and auto search takes forever to do. So I'm not going to demonstrate that. 
you can of course do a manual search um, if the auto search doesn't pick up a channel you think you should get country that resets every time you turn the box off it doesn't really do anything antenna power doesn't do anything that I can tell and signal type you can of course set this up to be a cable box if you have cable cable TV service so time you can set it up to do um, time zones and when you, the time jumps ahead like it did recently you can set it up to do that automatically which it is um, done like that from the factory options on screen display language obviously change the language closed captioning which works perfectly fine no need to demonstrate it really it's just as you expect audio language and somebody will need to explain that to me because I really don't understand that I don't know how you're going to change the language of the audio um, and then digital audio I have no clue what that is there's a lot of stuff in the menu it doesn't seem to do a lot not a lot of obvious things anyway I'm sure it does something somehow so system you've got all of this restore the factory defaults information about the box do the software update which I'm not going to do the set password and parental guidance which you have to have the password for I'm not sure what it is um, USB that will take you to the USB what you have on the USB uh, photo configure settings about a uh, slideshow of pictures PVR configure that would be to set up a recording a timed recording and then multimedia takes you to of course what's on the USB which I'll quickly demonstrate it has music, photo, movie, and PVR PVR is what you've recorded onto the USB movie shows you the videos that you have on there like if you put it on your computer you can just drag and drop um, video files onto the USB stick and then watch them on whatever you can connect the box to photos and music obviously so no need to demonstrate it because it just does exactly what you would expect it to um, some of the things on the remote um, closed captioning the set to show closed captions which it's not really doing for this commercial but they do work and I'll turn them off before they get going because it is kind of annoying um, audio again not sure what that is that's a button on the remote right there um, return is for the menu that's that button there I know you can't see it on the camera but this is the aspect button that will change the aspect ratio the repeat button I have no clue what that is uh, it has a USB button to go directly to what you have on your USB stick let's see there I guess I can show you this test pattern so it does display it of course the convergence on this TV is slightly off so I need to address that in the comments I know <laughs> I've actually tried to fix it but I can't get it perfect it's pretty close though um, the mute button there's really not a whole lot else to demonstrate on it it has a recording feature obviously which I'll press record right now the record button is big and red 
press record right now we're recording it'll show you that up there in the corner to show that you're recording and of course you can set up the timed recordings as I mentioned earlier and I'll go ahead and stop the recording it does say are you sure you want to stop recording in case you press it automatic or accidentally so sure how that just popped up I just pressed the OK button that shows you the TV channels hmm. alright so there you go it has a nice info button right here in yellow but you can press that it shows you the what's on now and what's coming up at the bottom there it shows you the signal strengths or quality as it says um, and there's not a whole lot of dislike about this TV there's one thing I'll note the volume you press the volume and it only goes to 32 for some reason so you have to kinda of crank up the volume through your TV to get any decent volume and of course now that's not really working as you can hear right there is usually about average uh, volume setting that you use that we use for our other converter box but for this one what's on there now is pretty loud so it's coming through okay it's not real bad it's just kind of annoying sometimes for our other TV that only has a single speaker you kinda have to really turn up the volume on it this one has two speakers so it's a little louder and, and uh, there's one more line of buttons on the bottom that's for when you're watching videos on your USB device to stop and fast forward and pause there is one little funny thing I'll show you real quick if you go into this right here the multimedia and then remove the USB it'll say not find any USB device so it is of course cheap made in China type of stuff so it has has a little bit of that English touch there and you can find other little pieces of that uh, elsewhere in the menu so there you go I think I've covered it pretty good it takes forever to come on if I didn't mention that it takes this thing I think I did I covered that when I turned it on it takes this thing like 10 15 seconds to come on which I'm not complaining about too much so there you go the iview 3500 STB2 converter box I do recommend it it's a nice one and uh, I'll tack on that recording I just made right now. So thanks for watching. Watch Brandon Dawson run in the lane. Rim run. And hoop with the harm. And Travis Price. Was that Price? I couldn't tell from that corner.